Oh, sun's out. It's been a pretty miserable week. And to be honest, I felt a bit under the weather. So it's been a bit of a push to get me out this week. Anyway, I thought I would show you my runner beans, which I put into this drying basket during the summer months. Let me show you. So they're a bit moist, but rattly, if you can hear that. So that's a good sign. That means that the seeds in there are now pretty much ready to take out. And there they are, beautiful white czar runner beans ready for next year. So I'm gonna pod all these beans and just put these to one side to continue the drying process. And out of each one of these, because I picked some of the best, and that one there was three beans. I reckon I'll end up with 40 or 50 and that'll be plenty for the plants I need. And if I am short, well, I can always find one or two or something else, I'm sure. Well, there we are. A mug full of next year's runner beans and that's a laugh. The black bean in there. I have one or two old plants that still have that black bean and they seem to get into every year's crop of beans ready for the following year somehow anyway we'll keep going with them but i'll take those in now to the house and put them on a bit of kitchen towel and just finish the drying off process indoors and that's next year's seeds job done well it's not cold it's freezing so I think this morning is a bit of a warm me up job. I'm going to get on and move a bit more of that compost. I've got a few beds still need covering and I want to get that area down the bottom clear. So I've been putting it off. I've got to admit it's a bit, well, physical, but needs to be done. Well, I hope I can finally move this last tranche of compost and then I can get into the final bay and that one, of course, still got quite a bit of cooch grass in it so it's going to be a bit more effort but it's got to be done i still haven't had any horse manure from my supplier but i'm thinking with this cold weather he'll be having his horses in now and it won't be long so i need to get a shift on and this stuff which is marvelous still got a little bit of cooch grass in it which i have to pick out well should hopefully not take me too long to get out and around the plot in the places that it's needed. Well, the time-lapse always makes that look exceedingly straightforward, but I can tell you it was exhausting. And not least because I don't feel fully fit, but I've made some good progress. Right, get my rake. Okay, I'll just spread this over now and That'll be pretty much these beds sorted. I've just got the celeriac bed here, which is not quite ready to fully harvest yet. So I'll get that one done probably shortly after Christmas. And then there's a couple more down at the bottom. And then that'll just leave the main bed with the runner beans and the leeks in. And they should be well, the leeks should be fairly diminished by that time, giving me the space to spread more compost. So I've cleared that area out now at the bottom, apart from the last bay. So I just don't have the energy today to start extrapolating that cooch grass from the compost, but made good progress. 
So I'll get the net back on this one. There's a couple of cabbages for the chickens. And then we'll get onto something a little bit less physical. Well, there is a bit of a moment here where I just want to get this pallet separated and we can be able to see the wood for the trees. Typically it's full of compost. <laughs> you get an idea of the cooch grass that's underneath there. Right, let's try that trick where I spun it round and let it go. Here we go. I get this one out of the way. I don't really need this over in the other area now because I've sort of got around it. Look at these. Talk about spaghetti. Leave them on there for the now. Because if I start on that, I won't be able to stop. Right, you can lean up. And then on to better things. Well, if you watch my Instagram at all, you'll see that I've been having a wholesale puree session of the pumpkins that I've harvested this year. And, well, a bit of a foolish moment when I became Mr. Pumpkinhead. Those of you that follow me will know exactly what I mean. And those that you don't, well, why not pop over and have a laugh? Well, in the meantime, I'm going to get rid of these marigolds. And lots of people have commented this year on how their marigolds or calendula have actually lasted right the way through to now. And you can still see that there's flowers on some of these and in fact buds, which is pretty amazing stuff really. Just goes to show how climate is shifting. But I'm gonna get these out because they're just beginning to look scraggly and they're getting on my nerves a bit. And I think it's good to give the bed a bit of a rest rather than continually have goodness taken out of it by these this year long lasting plants. So Mrs. K and I have gathered all the petals earlier on in the season and now they're being steeped in almond oil and will become this year's body cream and calendula balm. And it always lasts us about a year, although we do give quite a bit away. So I'll get on and get this cleaned up. Well, thank you to everybody for their kind words after my failed chicken root experiment. I tried and the chickens are now having the odd afternoon in the tented area, which they're loving. So cabbage this morning, girls. And egg production now is well, at rock bottom. I think we've had about two or three eggs this week, which is pretty low level stuff. But at this time of year, when the days get shorter, that's the way it goes. And they're enjoying a little bit of fresh greens now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll bring some more eggs. That area looks a lot neater now anyway. There's still some of those calendula in the front bed. I'm just going to leave those, they look pretty for now. But that's all those beds cleared out of last year's plants, apart from the sweet williams at the end. And of course I've got garlic in these other two beds. Let's have a look at that garlic that's under the apple tree. I've got a feeling 
yeah it's coming through I'm starting to see a lot more now and hopefully that was just because they're a different variety these doing really well and the other day I was thinking I gathered all my pots but I was a bit remiss because well you know that old adage out of sight is out of mind and I was thinking where are the covers for my seeds and there they are and just as well I came around here because my guttering appears to have blown down as well let's get that back in place so I'm gonna pull these out because like everything else that's plastic the cold weather does it no good at all it just makes it brittle and these are quite expensive and quite important to me so they're gonna need one hell of a clean up let's get them out and get them somewhere where I can see what's going on well I'd like to leave these out in the rain because that will give them a good clean up but unfortunately we've got a lot of wind in the forecast as well so I've got a little bit of cooch grass growth inside some of them but they're in good order and we just need to give them a clean up and they'll be fine and these which were my original ones they've got a few cracks and breaks on them already uh, I'm going to go on using them for many years yet I'm sure that one's in a bit of a bad way I'll give him a bit of a clean up I think what I'm going to do is put these in the polytunnel to dry off and then I can give them a good clean probably in the polytunnel on one of those wet and wintry days be a good job to get done right I'll move them Well, I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. It might turn out to be a bit shorter than normal, but as I say, not feeling particularly energetic today. So, I hope you've had a good weekend. It's not been too cold where you are. And if you have enjoyed the video, then why not like and subscribe and ding that bell and you'll get my updates every Sunday and every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Have a great one. Good times.